there, Hampshire chemistry students. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can calculate the concentration of an NaOH solution using the chemical KHP. This is done with a titration in our burette, and it's going to help us create and calculate the exact concentration of our NaOH. A in class, we should have made our molarity solution here to be about 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. Hey, here's the thing though, the pellets of the sodium hydroxide are a little chunky, so it's not always easy to get an exact measurement. So we can get an exact measurement of our concentration of our purette with uh, my sodium hydroxide that I have now filled inside of my burette, and I'm going to react with an acidic solution. Hey, to do this, I was able to take the chemical KHP and dissolve two samples of it into these two flasks. Hey, they don't look that exciting, but they have some phenolphthalein indicator that's going to react with our NaOH. Hey, our first sample of KHP, I used 0.15 grams of the solid. Hey, in my second trial, I used 0.18 grams of the solid. Hey, let's get ready here and let's get started. We can notice that my burette is nicely filled all the way up to the zero milliliters. So my initial for my first trial is gonna be zero milliliters. Let's see how many milliliters it takes in order to get all the way down and count, get a nice, perfect titration. Titration. That means the acid and the base were perfectly balanced between each other, meaning that I can use that as my first trial. It looks like we needed about 7.46 milliliters. That was my final volume amount. Okay? So I can take my final minus my initial to determine my total amount of base that was used. Okay? As I move into my second trial, right, this is the one with the 0.18 grams of KHP. My new initial is actually going to be at the, my old my old starting point. To me, my art old ending point at 7.46 milliliters. Hey, let's see how long this one takes and how many milliliters it's going to end up with. It looks like our final burette mark was around 15.70 milliliters. Okay? You should then be able to calculate that total that was used for our second trial. Okay? We now have those amounts of NaOH that were used. From here, you should be able to use our, our data of our grams of KHP to, one, find the moles of KHP that we used in each trial. Two, we need to convert the uh, moles of KHP into moles of NaOH. This is nice and easy because it's a nice, easy one-to-one -one relationship. Finally, once you know those moles of NaOH, now that you know the moles of NaOH and the volume that was used, you can find the concentration. Careful! Remember that concentration is moles over liters. So you may need to do a little bit of conversion to our data. Hey, if you can find the average between these two trials, it'll tell you the exact concentration of my sodium hydroxide. Remember, are we are shooting for about 0.1 molar uh, sodium hydroxide, so your answer should be close to there if everything went well. So that's about it here, guys. Let's take a look at that data and get some uh, results finished here together. Good luck. 
And always, I'll see you guys later.